Hope you guys like it. If you like it, make sure at least do the heart vote. Hope you guys like it. If you like it, make sure at least do the heart vote. <laughs>
Let's now talk about Jewish pirates. This is really interesting, actually. Very. So let's uh, let's open it up for questions. We want to start to hear from some of our students here. So let's uh, let's open it up for some questions. So my question is, if the president were to enact a policy that would completely benefit the United States and our citizens. But to the detriment of Israel, would you support it, yes or no? That's a false choice. Thank you for being here. I get a lot of questions about Israel in the last week. I will not apologize for my defense of our greatest ally in the Middle East. And then to just answer your hypothetical that has no concrete example to this day, if any country would ever support a position that would be against our own interest, I would not support that. However, time and time again, Israel and Rob, can you second this? They helped you when you were a veteran in Iraq with intelligence, supply lines, medical assistance. From America First perspective, why do we give $3.8 billion to Israel? So what is the foreign aid we give Israel spent on? Um, bombs for blowing up children. Especially when they deliberately attacked the USS Liberty in the 1970s. That is incorrect. Do not peddle conspiracy theories in our event. That is not acceptable. Do not say that. Okay, Dean Rusk disagrees with you and he was the Secretary of State at the time, but that's fine. So I got a, a quick and fun, lighthearted question for you, Charlie. Uh, so I know you gave a speech uh, in Jerusalem earlier this year. Yes, uh, I did. Uh, were there any like awesome, fun dance parties that you guys had afterwards? Because I heard that Israelis are some of the best dancers in the world. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't believe me, just Google dancing Israelis. It's insane how good their dance moves are. Would you agree or disagree with that? Israel's a beautiful country, a great country, too. It is. They're our greatest ally. Correct. Thanks for being here tonight. Next question. Why do you deny the attack on the USS Liberty, which is well documented by both U.S. and Israeli sources? You have the Apollo incident in which they illegally stole right, weapons-grade uranium. Enough the CIA this, has reports on this. this. Anti-Zionist, anti No, I'm not anti-Israel. I'm just asking from American pers perspe Fine. perspective. It's important to have partners in fights against mutual enemies. And guess what? It's Israel that time and time again has stood with America against the mutual enemies and will continue to do so. Thank you for your question. Yes, and thank you, President Trump. Trump for moving the embassy to Jerusalem, right? President Trump moved the embassy to Jerusalem. Fun, lighthearted question for you, Charlie. Uh, so I know you gave a speech uh, in Jerusalem early this year. Yes, uh, I did. Uh, were there any like awesome, fun dance parties that you guys had afterwards? Because I heard that Israelis are some of the best dancers in the world. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't believe me, just Google dancing Israelis. Yo, yo! Would you agree or disagree with that? That's amazing. A beautiful country, a great country too. It is. They're our greatest ally. Correct. Thanks. Truly, just. Hey everybody, Benny Johnson here with Turning Point USA in the Golan Heights in Israel. Golan Heights is a northern region in Israel that is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful pasture land that is also mired in controversy because there has been a dispute for decades over who actually owns and has the right to the Golan Heights. Well, this year, in a historic move, President Donald Trump actually declared that Israel has the right to the Golan
reject this idea of dual loyalty. I have loyalty to ideas. And of course I love the Grand Canyon, I love the Rocky Mountains, and I love Boston, and I love Chicago, but if all that disappeared and all I had was ideas, and we were on an island, that's America, that's Israel. And that, that's what people have to realize, that America's just a placeholder for timeless ideas. And if you fall too in love with, you know, oh, the specific place and all this, that's, you know, that's not what it is. Israel will be an exception because there is a holy connection to this land. Thank you. Welcome second time. And third. Sure. It's my pleasure to be here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Please sit down. We will. Thank you.